Elect a Date! Welcome to Elect a Date, where voters choose the voting system that's best for them. Now let's meet the contestants Jenna will be choosing from. Contestant number one, I understand you're from the 1800s. That's right, Don. I'm old school. Haven't been replaced in over a hundred years. And contestant number two, you are instant runoff voting. That's right, Don. Simply put, I'm a better way to vote. Well, we'll see if our lucky voter agrees with you. Jenna, ask away. Okay. Contestant number one, describe the perfect voting date. Hmm, yes. Actually, it would be two election dates spread out over a season. On our primary election date, all of our candidates would be on the ballot, but you probably wouldn't show up since only 10 to 15% of voters show up for this first election. But hey, I trust that vocal minority to pick who's on the next ballot, don't you? Uh... And actually, all these voting dates get pretty expensive, so if you don't mind pitching in a few dollars, we Contestant could- number two, same question. Well, our voting date couldn't be easier. You show up once, rank your candidates, and that's it. With me, the runoff happens on one easy ballot. But the beauty happens during the campaign season, when you'll see candidates focusing on the issues rather than mudslinging. And at the end of the day, your community will see better participation and better representation as a result of instant runoff voting. Hey, can I have a question now? <sighs> Contestant number one, we're taking a romantic walk through the park. What kind of ice cream do you buy me? Hint, my favorite is strawberry. Well, I could order strawberry, but they're probably sold out. So I would either buy you the popular flavor that you hate the least, or we just skip the ice cream stand altogether. If I can interrupt, Jenna, with me, you can rank your choices. Go ahead, ask for strawberry. If they're out, we'll see if they have your second choice or your third. I'll do my best to satisfy you on our election date. Wait, haven't I seen you somewhere before? I admit, I'm being used in a bunch of other big cities, and they've all seen huge increases in voter participation and more issues-oriented campaigning. Cool. Yeah, with me, the instant runoff voting method means that the winners better represent the voters. It's really that simple. This is your chance to pull our system out of the 1800s, folks. On November 7th, Minneapolis voters can choose a better way to vote in city elections. At the bottom of the ballot, look for a question entitled, A Proposal to Use Instant Runoff Voting in Minneapolis Elections. Vote yes for better democracy. Vote yes for instant runoff voting. <laughs>